Since 2007, the National Science and Technology Fair has become an avenue to perennially revolutionize the approaches and role of sciences and research. Now on its 15th year of promoting science and technology consciousness among Filipinos, we continuously empower the youth and cultivate innovation and creativity amid the changing world. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take a look at the highlights and development of the National Science and Technology Fair over the years. Let's watch this video.
Sami apu mokno ngan ibiagan nindat mo Idatanda kami bikan mangat na pinggut mo Kawat mi ninggob hino ayatubob lemi Heay makiwadawada kida kami Heay makiwadawada kida Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wal barakatuh Salam pa mga kiaulungan sing Tuhan Pianaugan niya Nabi Iban Pura Kasilasan niya sa plag pakatilingkal alam Maglasa kita niyo bat O Tuhan, tunggal nu sa sangdolan kami, kuanin kami rejiki maglabi-labi, lausangom rahmat nu subay panipinuji, hangkan kita bi subay magkasih-kasih.
the depth ed vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. The DepEd mission, to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Our core values, makajos, makatao, Makakalikasan, makabansa. The innovative world of science and technology welcomes aboard all the regional directors, regional and division supervisors, superintendents, school heads, teachers, coaches, students, and participants. Having that said, Welcome to the National Science and Technology Fair 2022 with a the theme expanding the horizon futures of STEM. NSTF aims to continuously empower the youth and cultivate innovation and creativity amid this very changing world. Yes, and kumusta po kayong lahat? It's definitely an honor to be your host this morning as we hold the opening ceremony for NSTF 2022. I am Carl Patrick Estadeo of Olongapo City National High School, SDO Olongapo City. And just like you, I am very excited to witness how our learners demonstrate their scientific knowledge and skills, innovation and creativity as we strengthen STEM education in our curriculum. That is absolutely right. The new normal may have driven us online, but this year's Olympics in science and technology in the country will surely continue its tradition of celebrating the best and only the brightest of DepEd STEM curriculum. I am Mr. Dominic Almirez from Dr. Maria Di Pastrana National High School of SDO Quezon Province. Yes. And NSTF is an annual science fair organized by the Department of Education which features research competitions, exposition of innovative projects, elaboration of emerging trends, and exhibition of community solutions of pre-identified stakeholders. It is a talk of science, technology, research, and innovation. Let us mark this day by trending nationwide or even worldwide through hashtag STEMAmazingFuture and hashtag NSTF2022. Again, let's mark this day and trend worldwide with hashtag STEMAmazingFuture. Again, that's hashtag STEMAmazingFuture and hashtag NSTF2022. Let's use that on all our social media platforms because we want your voice to be heard. Further, NSTF aims to develop and promote the science and technology awareness to the public and of course to foster a culture of innovation among youth provide ideas and solutions to address problems and issues provide an opportunity for collaboration among students teachers entrepreneurs researchers scientists industries and communities as well and also to identify the most innovative and creative researchers who will be recipient of our distinguished Awards. Yes, that's right. And today, we are privileged to be joined by participants who are not only equipped with scientific knowledge and skills, but also gifted with amazing talent. How about a virtual applause for an intermission number from Lihok Performing Dance Troupe of Mabini National High School Division of Davao de Oro.
Wow, thank you very much, Lihok Performing Dance Troupe with their coach Milton L. Benilan and Principal Chuchi F. Yog. Ang galing-galing naman ang mga taga Dabao de Oro. Mabini National High School, sobrang galing ninyo. That is, that is why we are looking forward to witnessing your amazing talent next time as we gradually welcome the conduct of face-to-face -face activities soon. Yes, and I'm very excited. And at this juncture, let us now listen to the directors, Director Samuel R. Sullivan, Director 3 of the Bureau of Curriculum Development, as he gives his opening remarks and presents the overview of the 2022 National Science and Technology Fair. Let's give him a warm round of virtual applause. A pleasant morning to all, most especially to our Vice President and Secretary of the Department of Education, Secretary Sara Z. Duterte, and of course, to her Execom team. To our curriculum and instruction officials, our Bureau and Service Directors, the DepEd Regional Offices led by our Regional Directors, the SDOs led by our Schools Division Superintendents, our schools together with their school heads, teachers, uh, learners, and the parents. And of course, the National Technical Working Group led by no less than our Director 4, Director Jocelyn D.R. Andaya, and Chief Isabel Victorino. A blessed STEM NSTF day to all. According to Edwin Powell Hubble in his book, The Realm of the Nebula, with increasing distance, our knowledge fades and fades rapidly. Eventually, we reach the dim boundary, the utmost limits of our telescopes. There, we measure shadows and we search among ghostly errors of measurement for landmarks that are scarcely more substantial. The search will continue, not until the empirical resources are exhausted. Need we pass on the dreamy realms of speculation? This was in 1990. 32 years after the Hubble Telescope Project and Mission, NASA released last July 12, 2022, the latest astronomical images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. While it was a collaboration of around 300 organizations and universities, we all jubilated of these breakthroughs in science technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. Such development in STEM can also be considered as an inspiration in this 2022 National Science and Technology Fair with the theme, Expanding the Horizon, Futures of STEM. Indeed, our STEM ancestors have entrusted to us a body of knowledge about living things, about the Earth, and the celestial particles that constitute the universe. This is a ripple effect and has created energy and vitality among our schools to nurture young STEM enthusiasts regardless of their gender. There is a domino effect as well. With Industry 4.0 or Fourth Industrial Revolution, the Department of Education recognizes the need of producing a critical number of scientists, engineers, and technicians necessary for nation building. As such, there are many efforts to achieve this critical mass. We now have the STEM for all with special curricular programs like special science program for both the elementary and junior high school levels. And these include Special Science Elementary Schools, Science, Technology, and Engineering, Legislated Science High Schools, and the Regional Science High Schools. In the Senior High School, we have the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math strand. These programs aim to provide the learners with enhanced curriculum in science, math, and research, which is vital in the development of scientific inquiry and innovation as well as other skills that will prepare them in pursuit of higher education and our world of work in the areas of science and engineering. We thank the many stakeholders and partners of DepEd for STEM program and initiatives. 
We congratulate, of course, all our student participants in this year's edition of the National Science and Technology Fair, now on its 15th year. Making it this far is a proof of your dedication, perseverance, and hard work. The NSTF is also a venue for you to learn further, to engage with fellow student researchers, to make friends, and to have fun. We are also ex expressing our appreciation to the teachers and advisors of these young scientists who have painstakingly guided them in the preparation of their entries. Thank you as well to your parents. In behalf of the Bureau of Curriculum Development, I welcome you all to the 2022 National Science and Technology Fair. Thank you and God bless. Maraming maraming salamat po. Once again, that is Director Samuel R. Sullivan, the Director 3 of the Bureau of Curriculum Development. Every year, one of the highlights of the National Science and Technology Fair is the regional shout-out of our finalists. Despite holding the NSTF virtually, just like last year, nothing can stop our participants in doing this. Exactly, because this year, NSTF does it again. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to your screen as we proudly bring you the virtual regional shout-out. Engendering ideas for a better future. Beacon to brighten the minds of this young generation. A home and our motherland. We stand as one. We are one. Region one. Home of the hundred islands. The best of culture and nature. Pilgrimage center of North Luzon. Heritage village of the Philippines. We are one. Region one. Promoting the virtue of unity, compassion, excellence, determination, and happiness. Homeland of the best researchers. Region 1, number 1. Forceful, efficient, gallant, intelligent, open-minded, noble. Viva! Region 1, number 1. Reach it to your champions. Brave and ready to face the conquest of the national science and technology failure. Let's make it happen, we're all in this together 
Science and Technology Fair 2022 Cultivating innovative minds Promoting sustainable development Maximizing skills and creativity Sahabang Panahon. Researchers of the Bicol region are here to expand the horizon through our creative and innovative research proposals. Region 6 Western Visayas, the home of champions. 21 divisions, one strong region. Regional Olympics 2022 With the theme Expanding the horizon The future of STEM Examining the future. Simplifying the complicated. Innovating new wonders. What's up, Academy Six Champion?
para sa National Science and Technology Fair 2022. Basta 11! 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 Go 
Karaga, go, 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 Team Karaga, who? Working Minds of Karaga Region. Indigenous tribe, Igorot, the least populous region in the Philippines, rich in ancient culture, hanging coffins, rice terraces, 4.5 degrees Celsius, strawberry jams, the roaring mountains of the Cordillera Administrative Region, proudly present the students, together with their coaches for this year's National Science and Technology Fair. Complex concepts turn into simplest forms. TikTok with a dash of science and technology. Addressing mathematical challenges. Making lives easy. Studying the relationships between lives. And inspecting the organic world. We, Cordillerans, are one in providing solutions to global challenges with the use of science and technology. Matagotago, takuamin! Napakahuhusay. That was awesome. Which one is your favorite, sir? Personal favorite? Oh, I think it's Region 3. Of course, your personal favorite. <laughs> of yeah, course, you're from there. Yeah. But hearing those different shout-outs, it's quite new for us kasi nasanay tayo sa physical activities. Ngayon, online ang shout-out. Yes. But among those, merong mga nag-stand out for me. I think kung meron tayong award for best regional shout-out, I think mapapanood din naman nila lahat yan later, after ng live. But one thing that stand out for me, that stood out for me rather, merong gumawa ng Oriental Korean jingle, yes. merong Greatest Showman team, tapos merong original jingle pa, oh, yes. at meron ding original music composition. However, malalaman din natin later yan. That was awesome and a great way to recognize the talents and efforts of our participants from the different regions across the country and it seems that everyone is really excited not only to reap awards but more so to learn from our esteemed roster of guest speakers. Truly, I believe it. You'll agree with me. Yes. NSTF is NSTF experience is really one of a kind. Yes, indeed. And for this year, as we unveil another breed of young scientists, researchers, and innovators, let us first get to know our powerhouse judges. So at this juncture, to introduce the Board of Judges, let us welcome Supervising Education Program Specialists from the Bureau of Curriculum Development, Mr. Joseph Gutierrez and Ms. Annalisa Chan. What an exciting day for all of us who waited for this event to finally happen. To get us together again for this year's NSTF. It's truly an honor to be assigned for this part and more so to share the role with my friend and amazing colleague who share the same passion for STEM related programs and projects. Allow me and Sir Joseph to introduce to you our roster of high caliber judges. I will name our judges for the individual category, and Sir Joseph will read the judges for the theme category. I am sure you can't wait to know our esteemed board of judges. With their experience and expertise, it is no surprise their reputation precedes them. And for most of you, surely you already know them, Mamana? 
For our life science individual category board of judges, we have Dr. Neil Andrew D. Bascos, Assistant Professor from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. We have Dr. Marie Jane Flores, Full Professor of the Biology Department of the De La Salle University. And for the last judge for the life science individual category, we have Dr. Carmen A. Lagman, Full Professor of the Biology Department of the De La Salle University. For life science team category, we have the following. Dr. Thomas Edison E. De La Cruz, Professor 5, Biology Department of the University of Santo Tomas. We also have Dr. Ahmad Reza F. Mazaheri, Assistant Professor 6 and Head of Developmental Biology, University of the Philippines. And Dr. Michael C. Villarde, Professor 7 and Deputy Director for Research and Extension, the University of the Philippines. For the physical science individual category, we have the following members of the Board of Judges. We have Dr. Maribel G. Nonato, Academician, National Academy of Science and Technology, and Assistant Rector for Research and Innovation, University of Santo Tomas. We also have Dr. Jasmine Albelda, Senior Science Research Specialist of the Nuclear Training Center of the DOSC PNRI. And last, we have Dr. Roger Marie Sese, Chair of the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Ateneo de Dabao University. For physical science team category, we have the following esteemed judges. Dr. Ramon de los Santos, Assistant Professor of the Department of Physics, the Ateneo de Manila University. We also have Dr. Marie Josephine M. de Luna, Professor, Department of Physical Science and Mathematics, University of the Philippines, Manila, and Dr. Christina Binag, Professor at the Department of Chemistry, the University of Santo Tomas. For the Robotics and Intelligent Machines individual category, we have Dr. Ryan Ray Vicera, the Chair of the Department of Manufacturing, Engineering, and Management of the De La Salle University. We also have Dr. Romano Cunera, a same engineer and the Senior Director for Engineering from Far Eastern University Institute of Technology. And to complete the roster, we have Professor Nelly C. Altoveres, as Associate Professor 7 of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, Laguna. For the team category of Robotics and Intelligent Machines, we have the following judges. Dr. Elmer P. Dajos, Full Professor, Department of Manufacturing, Engineering, and Management, De La Salle University. He is joined by Engineer Carlos Opus. Director of the Ateneo Innovation Center, of course, Ateneo de Manila University. And completing the cast is Dr. Argel Bandala, full professor also uh, and the chair of the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, De La Salle University. This year, we are adding one category to give more options for our learners who are in soon numbers. And so we added the Mathematical and Computational Science category. And so what are the judges are, we have Dr. M Professor Mar Maria Carlota B. De Sena from the University of Santo Tomas. We also have direct Dr. Geoffrey A. Solano, Associate Professor from the University of the Philippines, Manila. And we also have Dr. Jericho Bacani, Associate Professor of the Department of Mathematics, University of the Philippines, Baguio. For the theme category, or of mathematics and computational science, we have the following. We have Dr. Angeline Lau, Professor, Department of Mathematics and Computer Science, De La Salle University. Dr. Jose Ernie Lope, Professor also of the Institute of Mathematics, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And Dr. Randy L. Cagaanan, the Chairman of the Mathematics, Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology. Aside from the math category, to add more to our exciting categories to provide more opportunities for our learners to showcase their ingenuity, we have come up with a STEM talk pyramids for our junior and senior high school students. And we also have CNC Cola, which is an interesting addition of this year's NSTF. Indeed, Mamana. For STEM talk, talk pyramids, Board of Judges, we have the following. We have Director Richard Burgos, the Director of the Science and Technology Information Institute, Department of Science and Technology. We also have Mr. Elson Ian Neil Ebreo Galang, himself an, alum an alumnus of the NSTF and the 
the former president of the network of ISAP Alumni Philippines and is now connected with, is now st finishing his graduate degree at McGill University. We also have Dr. Rosario Sagun, Sagum, Senior Science Research Specialist of the Food and Nutrition Research Institute, Department of Science and Technology. We also have in this board of judges, Mr. Christopher Rada, the head of public policy of TikTok Philippines and completing the cast is Dr. Maria Cecilia Galvez, full, full professor of the Department of Physics, De La Salle University. And for our CNC Kula, we have the following board members of the Board of Judges. We have Dr. Rosario Rubi Rowan Cristobal, the Chief Science Research Specialist of the Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute. We also have Dr. Renable Reyes, Associate Professor from the National Institute of Physics, University of the Philippines, Diliman. We also have Dr. Natalia Di Maano, the program lead of the USC Graduate School Engineering Classroom of the University of Santo Tomas. And we also have Dr. Jose Maria P. Balmaceda, Professor, Institute of Mathematics, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And to complete the roster of our judges for the CNC Cola, we have Dr. Mayra Tangsenko, Supervising Research Science Specialist of the Environment and Techno Biotechnology Division of the Department of Science and Technology. There you go, our 2022 National Science and Technology Fair steamed roster of judges. We would like to thank our judges for saying yes to this challenge and for staying committed throughout this journey as we work together to help our learners discover what more they can do with what they can already do. Have, Have a, great a great morning. morning. Enjoy, Enjoy this, this week. week. Thank you, Mr. Joseph Gutierrez and Ms. Annalisa Chan. After after hearing their achievements from their educational background to training experiences up to where they are now, our judges for this year's NSTF are undeniably experts in their field. Let's give them a virtual round of applause. Along with the continuation of this morning's event, allow us to reiterate one of Helen Keller's striking lines. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen nor touched. To unleash the heart of this academic event, we shall now be hearing the message of our keynote speaker for the introduction. Let us have Dr. Isabel A. Victorino, Chief Education Program Specialist from the Bureau of Curriculum Development to introduce our keynote speaker. Our keynote speaker for this year's National Science and Technology Fair is a graduate of BS Education and Master of Arts in Education, major in Curriculum Instruction in UP Diliman. A recipient of the Australia Leadership Award in 2012, she also pursued Master of Educational Management and Leadership at the University of Sydney under the Australia Development Scholarship. She also completed her academic requirements for a degree in Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Leadership and Management at the De La Salle University, Manila. She is a former high school principal of Lord's School of Quezon City and in 2012 joined the Department of Education as the Director 3 of the Bureau of Secondary Education. She also became the OIC Executive Director of the National Council for Children's Television. She is currently the Director 4 of the Bureau of Curriculum Development, Chair of the Senior High School National Task Force, the President of the Association of Deaf Ed Directors Incorporated, and President of CESOS Saldiwa Batch 19. She has been recently assigned in a concurrent capacity as the lead official in the Private Education Office. She is also the department's gender focal person Global Inventory of Regional and National Qualifications Framework and Global Citizenship Education. She has been designated to so many DepEd programs that include being Governing Board Member of the Southeast Asia Ministers of Education Office, Regional English Language Center, and is an alternate representative 
of the Secretary of Education in the Commission of Population Board of Commissioners. Her office handles the concerns of the Philippine schools overseas and she sits as co-chair of the Technical Committee of the Philippine Schools Overseas and chairs the Senior High School National Task Force. Ladies and gentlemen, the Director for of the Bureau of Curriculum Development and the Head of Private Education Office, Director Jocelyn D.R. Andaya. <laughs> Mayunaga, Naimbaga Bigat, Magandang Umaga, Good Morning to our Deped Officials, Teachers, Science Supervisors, Coordinators, Students, our Steam Board of Judges, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Welcome to the opening ceremonies of the National Science and Technology Fair 2022. Despite the existence of an alert level brought about by COVID-19, the DepEd is committed in conducting programs, projects, and activities that provide opportunities for the Filipino learners to realize their full potential regardless of circumstances. This year, the DepEd, through the Bureau of Curriculum Development, conducts one of its widely and participated events, the National Science and Technology Fair from August 2 to 5 via the online platform. As one of the national contests of DepEd, the NSTF serves as a venue for cultivating critical thinking, creativity, innovation, and collaboration among learners, science educators, stakeholders, as well as industry partners. The increasing demand for a more robust implementation of related projects that delve on research, science, and technology paves the way for this year's theme, which is Expanding the Horizon, Futures of STEM. This year, the DepEd will feature new and exciting and equally challenging events that will also highlight the flexibility of learners to combine their knowledge of science and technology with their inventive skill as they participate in the following categories and events. Shensikula, a video making competition for students in which a highly complex topic or concept in physical sciences, life sciences, mathematics, or engineering is clearly, creatively, and engagingly discussed in not more than three minutes. Likha, a research proposal competition on the field of STEM. There are four categories, namely physical science, life science, robotics, and intelligent machines, and mathematics and computational science. STEM talk experiments, a science experiment competition in a video format similar to TikTok. SciTalks, a virtual conference designed to provide opportunity for learning and development through various talks organized to promote excellence through innovation in science and research and Agham Bayani Huan, a public community exhibition of partners in science, technology, research, and innovation organized to showcase the latest in technology products, technologies, and services in various areas of the society. Ladies and gentlemen, during the president's inaugural address, he emphasized STEM as one of the top priorities of his administration in education. He emphasized that STEM knowledge and skills are necessary for young people to be able to compete in a highly technological and competitive world. The existing global health issues magnify the need for scientific, 
mathematical, and technological skills among learners. These important skills, such as describing and interpreting situations scientifically, identifying patterns of events, and making future predictions to solve pressing problems are driving forces, to name a few, for STEM education. Innovation leads to new products and processes that sustain our economy. This innovation and science literacy depends on a solid knowledge base in the STEM areas. Most jobs of the future will require a basic understanding of math and science. Consequently, this leads to promotion and support for sustainable national development. Edward Teller, a Hungarian-born American physicist known for his works on nu nuclear and molecular physics and spectroscopy, famously said, the science of today is the technology of tomorrow. What a fitting thought to the significance of science knowledge on how it affects the future. Truly, what we have today were shaped by the vision, imagination, and discoveries of those who came before us in the same manner that our work today contributes to what the future will be. In the global scene, McKinsey reported in 2017 that the world of work is in a state of instability and that there is growing polarization of labor market opportunities between high and low skilled jobs, unemployment and underemployment. The nature of work is shifting to automation, digital platforms, and other innovations. In a report published in the US by the National Science Foundation, the vision statement emphasized the need for all citizens to contribute to nation's progress and vibrancy. Specifically, it stated that to be prepared for the STEM careers of the future, all learners must have an equitable opportunity to acquire foundational STEM knowledge. The STEM education of the future brings together our advanced understanding of how people learn with modern technology to create more personalized learning experiences, to inspire learning, and to foster creativity from an early age. The future we seek is one where a human-centered society balances economic advancement with a resolution of social problems by a system that highly integrates cyberspace and physical space. Conceived in Japan as Society 5.0, this society achieves a high degree of convergence between virtual and physical space. Huge amount of information from sensors in the physical space is accumulated in cyberspace, which are then analyzed through artificial intelligence or AI. The analysis are fed back to humans in various forms. People, things, and systems are all connected. And this interconnectedness brings new value to industry and society in ways not previously possible. This is the future we envision and is trying to attain. With a highly scientific-minded population, we shall realize this. NSTF believes in building and accordingly supports in realizing the dreams of our young scientists. Through a partnership with the Kokongwe Brothers Foundation, the winners of the NSTF become recipients of the Gokongwei Brothers Young Scientist Award for the excellence, drive, and passion they exhibited in the conduct of their research. The NSTF envisions a stronger and wider STEM education as it continues to be an avenue to share knowledge, build capacities, forge partnership, and recognize modern day heroes. Those scientists and teachers who engage learners in various academic tasks which cultivate scientific consciousness and likewise heighten critical thinking and problem-solving skills. 
these efforts, we are sure, will contribute in making them globally competitive in the field of research and innovation and eventually contribute to nation building. As a testament to the quality of research outputs in the NSTF, several of our past winners in the International Science and Engineering Fair are the following. In 2017, Rubelin Cesca, Glo Cesca Gloria, Myrel Angela Callas, and Nadine Antoinette Obafal of Davao City National High School won the second grand award in the plant sciences on their research on organic insecticide from acacia bark. In 2018, Eugene Rivera, Joseph Kent Manzanero, and Keith Russell Cadores of Camarines Sur National High School won second place in the energy physical category for their design and development of a solar tracking Arduino rooted photovoltaic panels. In 2019, Evan Rel Tongol, Shaira Gozun, and Neil David Kayanan of Hangile City Science High School bagged honorable mention for their sound absorption material made from abaca fibers, bamboo, and water hyacinth. We continue to promote the culture of research and innovation in our youth because we believe that as we fuel research, we also fuel innovation and discoveries. The result of this is one of the driving forces towards the country's progress. Our efforts to promote innovation and cre creativity through the NSTF equips our learners with the necessary scientific knowledge, attitudes, and skills, as well as the development of critical thinking and problem solving. Through the NSTF, we are igniting the interest of young minds to discover and invent. And so to our NSTF student participants, let us change the world one STEM initiative at a time. Let us change the environment one innovation at a time. And let us affect the future one research at a time. And as you learn new knowledge, may you never forget to collaborate also and make friends. Enjoy learning and have fun. Magandang umaga muli sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, our keynote speaker, the Director Tour of the Bureau of Curriculum Development, Director Jocelyn D.R. Andaya, and indeed, STEM Knowledge and Skills. learners in science and technology through inventive skills of students stimulated on the various competitions and activities in this year's NSTF, such as the Shen Sikula, STEM Talk Tournaments, Likha, and STEM Talks. Further, let us change the world one step at a time. Oh, I like that. One STEM at yes, a STEM. time. Yeah. So maraming salamat po once again, Director Jocelyn Andaya. One thing that I got from her keynote speech is the one that she highlighted, she underscored the President's inaugural address and how we are going to intensify our science and mathematics education in the country. She also mentioned that STEM is the prime priority for basic education for us, to be, for us Filipinos to be able to compete in a highly critical and changing world. That is why itong NSTF nating ito is significantly very important for us kids and teachers here in the basic education to encourage more our learners to part our learners to participate in this kind of platform because who knows one day an nstf participant today an innovator and a scientist famous scientist in the future pwedeng nanggaling sa nstf ang maging sagot sa isang napakalaki at napakabigat na problema ang kinakaharap natin ngayon here in our country and even in the world yes that's right that is why and with that, the National Science and Technology Fair 2022 is formally open.
This year's NSTF is co-presented by Gokong Way Brothers Foundation, building the future through education. Gokong Way Brothers Foundation is also calling all aspiring and in-service STEM educators. That is why if you wish to be one of our GBF's Teach STEM Scholars for College and Masters, just visit the Gokong Way Brothers Foundation Facebook page to apply. Yes, and also, this year's interactive NSTF is launched via the microsite DepEdNSTF2022.com and was designed by Waveplay, a leader in interactive event experiences in the Philippines. Waveplay Interactive creates innovative event engagements for top local and international brands. Mm. They also introduce game-changing technologies that captivate the guests on all immersive level from motion games, interactive gameplays, augmented reality, touch screens, contactless activations, premium photo and video booths to virtual and hybrid event microsites. Yes, and that is why we invite you to visit our virtual gallery and view the Shensikula entries and STEM talk pyramids. Learn something new by listening to powerful talks on science and technology through our STEM talks. Ignite your passion for research and innovation by browsing the Likha Research Proposal competition entries. Not only that, we also have virtual photo booth. Again, virtual photo booth. Kahit andyan kayo sa mga bahay nyo, may photo booth pa rin ngayon sa NSTF 2022. So, smile, strike a pose, and let capture your science. Aha! Moment. I like that. Yes. Aha! <laughs> and you can also click on our sponsor booths and download the balls and access the feedback form. Let's continue the connection and empower science education for the most important clients that we have our learners demonstrating the values of fortitude creativity and innovation as we expand our horizon towards an invigorated stem education this has been your host carl patrick estadeo and dominic almirez see you this afternoon <laughs>